Hello everyone. Now uh, we look again at the income statement adjustment. Now uh, focusing again on the rent, a different question using different um, financial years. Right, uh, if you watch the other ones, uh, the financial years ending on uh, 28 Febru 28 February. Uh, but on this particular question, it's a different uh, financial year end. Right, but exactly the same, uh, you know, kind of uh, adjustment that you are. Right, uh, okay, going to the question. You are provided with a pre adjusted trap balance on 31 December 2019. That's the end of the financial year. You are required to prepare the income statement. So, in this question again, you are required to prepare the income statement. Then, the rent income in the trap balance uh, is given as um, 126,224. It uh, runs 126,224 runs. Then uh, the adjustment in the in, in that needs to be made is right. Uh, so rent uh, was received up to January 2020, uh, and take note rent was increased by 12% uh, on 1 August uh, 2019. Okay, so uh, the year is ending 21. Uh, you know, in 31 December. Right, uh, and um, rent income right was received uh, up to 31 December, so up to January right, 2020. Right, so um, so how much should you receive uh, in rent? That's 126,000 runs, uh, 224. Right, and this is for 13 months. Uh, remember, uh, the 12 months ends on uh, December. So we've got one extra month, which is January, which is uh, 13 months. Right, uh, if uh, rent did not increase by 12%, uh, the simple thing uh, we're going to do, divide um, 126,000 by 13 months, we get uh, the monthly rental income uh, that uh, we're receiving. But uh, on this instance, because uh, there was... Uh, an increase we cannot do that so we need to uh, work out how much was rent uh, after you know the increase so our uh, rent before increase that is 100 uh, percent times how many months rent was increased on 1 august um, 2019 uh, that means from 1 january that means the year started on 1st of january uh, 2019 so from the 1st of january 2019 uh, to 31 July uh, 2019, that will be seven months, and this will give you 700. Right, uh, then from um, the 1st of, uh, of August, right, uh, to uh, 31 um, January. Uh, that will be six months. Then the rent will be 112 percent times six. Uh, so make sure this will give you 13 every time. Right, I only add it to because you might make an error. One doesn't give you the amount of months that you need. Uh, you you receive the rent for that means there's a, there's an error somewhere. So uh, it was six months. So uh, if you multiply um, 112. Uh, times six you get six hundred and seventy two then the total year will be one thousand three hundred and seventy two right so uh, what you are concerned about here is uh, this amount Right, uh, that's, that's the figure that we are concerned about. So uh, at the end of the day, who we'll need to use that? So that will be 672 divided by 1,372 times 126,224. Right, uh, that will give you 672 divided by 1,372. 
uh, times 126,224. Uh, this will give you 61,824. So uh, this is total rent received after increase for six months. So this is the total rent for six months. So our monthly rent income uh, will be 61824 divided by 6. Uh, that will be 10,304. Right. So that's the adjustment that we need. Remember, it was just uh, one month. Uh, the month that we're looking for just one month. Right. That was received in advance. Right. If we receive for 14 months, that means we multiply this by by two because uh, we received rent in advance for two months in advance. Right. Uh, so uh, your adjustment uh, will be as follows. Right. Other incomes. Then leave rent, rent income, then uh, that will be 126,224 minus 10,304, right, uh, which gives you minus 126,224 which gives you 115,920. So that will be the adjustment that you make. Of course, we'll have other incomes like a discount received, commission, um, commission income, um, what else? Paid debts recovered. Uh, that is only when it comes to the other um, income that uh, you may have right now. Uh, so uh, this is how you, you adjust for it. Right? And you have to pay attention sometimes find that maybe you actually didn't receive uh, the rent for the 12 months. You received for 11 months or you received for 10 months. So actually instead of subtracting here, you need uh, to add and make sure you calculate using the correct number of months the rent was received because otherwise end up uh, you know uh, confusing yourself and uh, calculating things wrong assuming uh, rent is still, is still was received in advance when in actual fact you got a receivable income